Today I'll be showing you three ways to fix security lockout iPhone or iPhone unavailable. So how to fix this up without a computer or iTunes? Let me honestly tell this, in order to do so, your phone should be connected to the internet. Erase iPhone appears only for the iPhone with internet connection. So this method only worked for the device connected to the internet. If ears not connected, wait till the try again, given time expires. Then swipe into notification drawer and enable the Wi-Fi or mobile data. So what you have to do is we need to keep entering the wrong password until try again in 15 minutes appears or until the erase option appears. Now when it reaches to 15 minutes, you will see an option as erase iPhone. Tap on that. Proceed with erase iPhone. You need to enter the Apple ID password. Let me enter mine. Okay, once after entering the password, tap on go. Now, as you can see that the iPhone is getting erased. As you can see that, my iPhone got successfully erased, if erase iPhone doesn't appear for you. Let's move the next one. The first thing is, make sure that you are either connected to a Wi-Fi or mobile data, okay, you need to have another phone, you can use your friend's phone or any alternative phone. Here's the phone. What you have to do is you have to go to Safari. Then go to iCloud.com. Then sign into the Apple ID used in the disabled iPhone. Then go for it, into the respective password. Then go for sign in. Now they'll be asking for a two-factor authentication. If you have used the same Apple ID in different iPhone, iPad, or any Apple device, you'll be getting code in other iOS devices. If it's not available, you can tap on did not get a verification code. You'll get more options to receive text message with a code to your phone number given in the iCloud account. Before tapping on text me, if the SIM card is in disabled iPhone, you can remove the SIM card from disabled iPhone to another phone to see the code. Now tap on text me. Give the code and proceed. Go for trust. Then tap on, find iPhone. Okay, here are the devices. Now select the disabled iPhone from the list. From here, you will be able to see an option called erase iPhone. Tap on that. Go for continue. Re-enter the password of iCloud account. Once again you have to do the two-factor authentication. Go for next. Go for done. As you can see that, we will be getting getting a message, the race started. And as you can see that it is all done. If this too doesn't work, here's the last method. For that, you need a Windows computer or Mac. On PC, you have to open internet browser and navigate to google.com, then search for iTunes download. Then click on the first one. From here, 
you get 32-bit and 64-bit. In order to check yours, head over and click on the search icon over the bottom, search for File Explorer, and open it. From here, scroll down, and click on this PC. From here, right-click and go for Properties. Here as you can see that, mine is 64-bit. So go back to the web browser, download the one for Windows 64-bit. The download has begun. Open it when the download finishes. Follow the instructions. So this is the iTunes. For Mac users, open web browser, navigate to google.com, search for iTunes download for Mac. Click on the download icon and proceed further. So once all done, let's move to the iPhone. You just have to connect one end to the PC or laptop and the other end to your iPhone like this. You have to connect it. Okay. So once connected, you just have to make sure that the screen it is turn it on. So now what you have to do is just have to get into recovery mode and do this stuff. You just have to press volume up followed by volume down, then press and hold power button until your iPhone gets into recovery mode. So now as you can see that it is successfully got into recovery mode, and now from here, you have to follow the instructions. Now here after the instructions hereafter is the same for all the iPhone models. As you can see, there's an option to restore your iPhone, tap on that. Then tap on agree. Then, at the top right of iTunes, you can see that the software is getting downloaded. The software is around 6.13 GB. So let's wait for it to get downloaded completely. Note that recovery mode will not stay longer. So, your iPhone will get out of recovery mode if the download takes long. So, if the iPhone goes out of recovery mode, it will not affect the download. You can re-enter into recovery mode once the download is complete. You don't have to download the software once again. Get into recovery and you can restore at the spot without downloading again. And the important thing is, doing this process will erase all content and will be reset to factory default. So guys, Snow, as you can see that we have successfully downloaded and as you can see, it is getting processed. So, it is getting extracting the software, so you just have to wait for that too. Now, as you can see that the iPhone is getting restored. Now, your PC says that the iPhone is restored. So let's move to the iPhone. So guys, as you can see that we have successfully fixed the issue. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and enable post notifications. We'll be back with more videos of iPhone, so stay tuned. This is Peter Smith, see you soon in the next video.